Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends in this video we will discuss voltage divider What is voltage divider? How we can use it? And what are the benefits? What are the techniques? Actually it is a comment from one of my viewers He asked me what are the benefits of voltage divider? He said we can take voltage from single resistor then why we need uh, two resistors or more resistors in series I asked this question from many people but I am not satisfied from anyone please tell me let's start first of all we will take the point from this question what is that our friend told when we have voltage source and we install one resistor for example we have this voltage line for example I have 40 volt DC and our circuit requires a signal for 10 volt 1 milli ampere example we can use single resistance to drop voltage 10 volt 1 milli ampere so here we can use 30 volt we can drop here we can select a resistor okay that's nice let's discuss this point and then we will shift to the second point and then we will see this practical voltage divider using three resistors two resistors actual voltage divider what is the divide as we know the divider anything which makes divisions which make distribution in the first condition we have this load any load it is composed of some components some inductor resistor capacitor anything so it have a impedance that is the total resistance of the circuit so total resistance of the circuit we can determine its its resistance its impedance very easily so if we have 10 volt divided by 0 0.001 1 milli ampere so its resistance is 10 kilo ohm resistance so its total resistance is 10 kilo ohm because 10 volt and 1 milli ampere so remaining 30 volt will drop here because we need 10 volt here we can use this method we can use two resistors in series then we can take parallel voltage or we can divide in this way or we can use a potentiometer and we can take output voltage we can use some diode and diode and resistor in series some diodes or we can use a multiple resistor section or we can use some resistor and some zener so any method we can use because we have to drop voltage and we have to take voltage in this set, in this set we have rl load resistor in series with this resistor here we are taking parallel voltage so it is using shunt regulator here we are using parallel voltage as we know we use a volume button volume knob in the tape recorder what we are doing inside we are adjusting the voltage we are taping the voltage we are changing the ratio between this resistance and this resistance if we use two fixed resistors at that time the fixed ratio and fixed voltage will out and if you use potentiometer variable resistance at that time we take variable voltage how much slider is going to positive side or negative side this ratio between slider and negative slider and positive it will determine the voltage level or we can use one or two diodes in series and then resistor so voltage drop across this diode will reach at the output across the load in this first situation we supply that is 40 volt load voltage 10 volt so I load that is 1 milli ampere now because it is in series so the current flowing from the, from this load will also flow from this resistor because in series the current will remain same if we see we use some LED we have LED we use this resistor to control the current actually the series resistor the voltage divider network 
is used to control the current. So the amount of current will determine the amount of voltage drop across these components. In LED, for example, we need 1.8 volt. The current is 20 milliampere. So this 20 milliampere will use to calculate the circuit. Now we need 1 milliampere. So here we need the amount of R1. So R1 that is V supply minus V load divided by amount of current. So V supply is 40 volt uh, minus 10 volt divided by 1 milliampere. It is 30 kilo ohm. Now we can calculate the voltage drop across this resistor VR1 voltage drop across resistor number 1 I into R1 1 milliampere multiplied by 30 K so 1 milliampere multiplied by 30 K it is 30 volt 30 volt will drop across this resistor so that's nice so 10 volt remaining will drop across RL so this is the good working condition because when we calculate the resistor we also calculate the power rating so power is I square R 0 0.003 30 milliwatt it is the good condition when the RL the load resistance is good the circuit is working normally it will drop 10 volt and it will draw 1 milliampere some circuits are sensitive for example I am applying I am using a circuit that can operate up to maximum 15 volt when it is working if some fault will occur in this circuit its internal resistance can go high when it will go high in that case the drop voltage will increase rl 10 kilo ohm now imagine if its internal resistance will increase due to any failure in any component might be one resistor is burn out the circuits open and the total resistance will increase impedance will increase for example its resistance will reach at 30 kilo ohm 30 kilo ohm plus 30 kilo ohm is here the load resistance will increase due to some damage some open circuit some anything here we have 40 volt so 30k 30k equal resistance the voltage will divide it so we will receive 20 volt plus 20 volt 20 volt will drop here 20 volt will drop here in that case there was one component damage which caused to increase its resistance if the resistance is increased in that case it will drop more voltage when it will drop more voltage maybe some sensitive components are used here so that will damage the component that will damage the complete circuit because it will receive 20 volt maybe more voltage can damage more circuit so it is unsafe condition to use voltage divider with series resistor we can use it in some condition if we are using LED like here it's good because it is limiting the current but when we are using some sensitive components then we have to use the other techniques so we have to use some method to take parallel output we can use two resistors to divide the voltage or we can use one resistor one zener so we can take output for load so if the load will damage in that case the total resistance will not increase too much it will become slightly high a slightly low but it will not make a big change because we have a permanent current flow from these two resistors we are taking the parallel output for the load that is voltage so we have one current flow here if there is a damage in the circuit if the circuit have malfunction in that case we have a parallel source we have a working source i am discussing a board for inverter output unit we write some command check voltage on dc rail for example here we have 300 volt and here we are using microcontroller some ic some processor some computer and it is just only 5 volt operated vcc or 3.3 volt operated in the command set in the instructions it is mentioned 
check voltage for example this register this pin so it have to monitor the voltage at this pin so we cannot apply 300 volt directly to this pin because it will increase from its VCC voltage it may damage so we have to connect some resistor network because this IC have a limitation what is the limitation for example the maximum absolutely maximum input voltage may reach up to 6 volt the maximum sink current for example it is 1 milliampere normally it is in microampere so it is the absolutely absolute maximum rating so in this case when someone will write the code he will write that I need 3 volt when 3 volt it will define 300 volt when we will receive 300 volt at DC rail so at this pin should 3 volt 1 milliampere in this case we have V supply 300 volt and our V load 3 volt and the amount of current is 1 milliampere IL is equal to 1 milliampere so we can calculate this resistor the same formula 300 volt minus 3 volt divided by 1 milliampere we have two approaches here we can calculate the total current RT that is the second method we will also discuss that 300 volt minus 3 divided by 0 0.001 so 297 kilo ohm now we can check the resistor second resistor the amount of voltage 3 volt divided by 0 0.001 it is R2 V over I that is 3 divided by 0 0.001 that is 3 kilo ohm 297 kilo ohm or we can calculate it total amount of voltage V over I 300 volt divided by 0 0.001 in that case the total resistance 300 kilo ohm so 297 plus 3 kilo ohm it is 300 kilo ohm in this case 300 volt we will receive 3 volt now if the line voltage are dropped at 200 volt what will happen at this point 200 volt divided by 300 kilo ohm resistance so the amount of current will 0.66 milliampere now the amount of current dropped so we can calculate the voltage drop across this resistor 0 0.66 0 0.666 multiplied by 3 kilo ohm so the voltage voltage will appear at this pin 1.9 volt 1.99 we can say 2 volt now the voltage dropped this pin dropped at 2 volt before this it was given 3 volt now this microcontroller will become to know that the voltage are dropped if the voltage will increase to 400 volt divide by 300 kilo ohm resistance the current will increase at 1.33 milliampere multiply it with R2 value 3 kilo ohm the voltage will reach 3.999 the so voltage will reach 4 volt so it will sense the voltage from this point and it will say the voltage or line voltage or DC rail is high so it will turn off the compressor it will generate the error so this technique the parallel or shunt regulator is used to sense the voltage and it is safe in first condition if internally it have some malfunction it will cause to increase more voltage but here if we remove this one it will also drop the same voltage 4 volt and it have some back draw if we use a resistor when this MCU will come in parallel it will cause to drop voltage because two resistors in parallel the total resistance will decrease first we have to calculate load resistance and shunt resistance 
two resistors will come in parallel it will calculate it as a one resistor so this RT will come in series with this at that time we will take a fixed voltage that we need I have these three resistors the first resistance that is 22.15 K second resistance it is 4.89 that is 4.9 K 28.3 so these resistors total resistance R1 R2 R3 total 55.38 kilo ohm resistance and I have voltage that is 24 volt I applied 24 volt now we can check 24 volt I is equal to V over R how much current will flow in this circuit from this resistor through this resistor 24 divided by 55.35 kilo ohm resistance it is 0.433 milli ampere the drop voltage for example this is R1 R2 R3 voltage drop across VR1 is equal to I into R1 amount of current that is 0.433 and the amount of resistance 22.15 multiply it the result value resultant value will the drop voltage across this resistor so it should 9.59 9.58 that's good that is close then we have to calculate the same I R2 voltage across R2 so it is 2.12 volt 2.12 volt then we have to calculate V R3 so it is 12.27 12.2527 so it is close because this resistor value is 28.39 so in this way we can calculate voltage divider network and if you want to use this end voltage across this resistor so we can take 9.58 volt and if you use two resistors in series it will 11.7 volt we can take sum of two nodes or we can take 14.39 so in this way we can use voltage here 12.27 here we have 14.39 and here we have 24 volts so if we add this 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 the total voltage is 24 volts so finally answer of the question when we use one resistor in and second resistor RL use one resistor and we can take a voltage drop and we can operate this circuit why we use two resistors So this is RL. This was the question. When we can take one resistor, when we can install one resistor, then why we need these two resistors? So it was total discussion. I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.